Hey guys, it's Jane. Well, it's the 1st of June today, um, which you probably can tell from the pink of my <laughs> face because I've just been out walking and it's freezing out there. I've also got my favourite jumper on to keep me nice and warm. So anyway, it's the 1st of June. It's also a Monday, so I probably should be doing a Mystery Monday video, but I'm not. Um, I thought oh, what I should do is my May wrap up. But when I started thinking about doing my May wrap up, the problem I came up against was one of the books that I finished in May, which after all this time, I still don't know quite what I think about. That book is The Swan Book by Alexis Wright. Um, I did a read along with uh, Tanya from List Obsessed Reader of this one book. I read her previous book, Carpenteria, last year. And Carpenteria was a lot of work, but I really enjoyed it. The Swan book, I just, I, I, I honestly don't know what to say. I just don't know how I feel about it. I don't know what I've learned from it, if anything. And so what I am doing today is hopefully going to be a short discussion video where I ask you guys the question, what do you do with the experience of reading a book that you feel you just don't understand? Um, this has happened to me more than once. This is not a brand new experience for me. I'm not a super duper adventurous reader, but I do stretch myself. Um, because if I'm just reading um, stuff that's completely in my comfort zone all the time, I get bored. If I'm reading stuff that's out of my comfort zone all the time, I get you know, unhappy. So there's got to be a balance. But if I just stick entirely within my comfort zone all the time, I just I get bored. So um, I have come across this before, reading something and I get to the end of it or sometimes I don't even get to the end of it. But in this case, I get to the end of it and I just go, I, I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel that the book is beyond me. That's what I feel like. Not that it wasn't a good book, but that I, as a reader, don't I'm not sufficiently well developed or something to get out of it what was there that's basically what I feel about the swan book um, there are some similarities with Carpenteria Carpenteria um, the style of it took a lot of getting used to it, she has a very hypnotic kind of dreamlike narrative style it's it's not quite stream of consciousness but something like that and that was there again in the swan book but it was more than that. Um, I actually watched part of a lecture that she gave, the author, Alexis Wright, gave at the Sydney Writers' Festival, where she said that she quite consciously, when she was writing this book, she was moving away from standard Western narrative structure because she's, a, the other thing to say, she's an Aboriginal writer, and she felt that uh, the story that she wanted to tell was simply not served by writing in a standard Western narrative style. And so it isn't an accident is what I'm, it's not an, it's not an accident that I found this difficult, this story difficult. So anyway, um, over the course of my life, basically the advice that people have given me when I come to some, an experience like this is, um, well, care less is something that many people have told me and um uh, yeah friends even friends have said this to me um other people the, the 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 current version of this seems to be um you know don't overthink it jane jane just don't overthink it you know which um the most recent time that a friend said this to me i turned and said like do we know each other <laughs> like useful advice is that to me like don't overthink it like you're clearly thinking of somebody else whether you're addressing that statement to so yeah what do you do what do you do when you have read a book and it's beyond you how do you I mean there's two sides of it emotionally how do you process that experience 
and intellectually in terms of getting value out of the time that you've invested in reading the book? Are there, are there things that you try um, in order to help you make sense of it? What, what do you do? Any answers, any suggestions, most gratefully received. Anyway, I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.